fact for acting school, I actually had to do a paper on Johnny Depp and the different um, characteristics he brought into all these different movies. And those films I saw were, well, look, everyone knows him from Pirates of the Caribbean. But there's more to Johnny Depp than just Pirates of the Caribbean. There's Crybaby, the original 21 Jump Street series, and Donnie Brasco. That was one of the films that I actually watched. And Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, Edward Scissorhands, Ed Wood. You know, people always think of Johnny Depp as being this pirate actor. Well, he is, but he is actually an extremely versatile actor. In fact, one of my friends is a giant fan of Johnny's. So much so, she actually was so excited that I got the privilege, not the honor, but the privilege to write a paper on Johnny Depp and what different characteristics he brings to each character. So if you want to see a film that is different compared to Pirates of the Caribbean, I'm sorry, I just got to put this down before I get to that. Crybaby is your choice. It is a full-blown musical, but it's also quite funny too. You will laugh. You will feel a little, you will feel a lot of sorrow for Crybaby, but at the same time, you will kind of get a little bit lost with how over the top this film is. But just so you know, Johnny Depp does not use his real singing voice in this movie, no. Someone recorded his voice and Johnny kind of lip sank. But don't get me wrong, it's a great soundtrack. My favorite song in this movie is the jail song. When Johnny talks about how his parents passed away, that was... That's the part I like to act out when I talk to friends about this film. He's like, electricity drives me insane. There's a scene where they're, where he's with his girlfriend and then there's a, a thunderstorm that hits and he's just like, I can't take it. Electricity drives me nuts. You know why electricity drives me nuts? Because of this. Unbuns his shirt. Rip. The electric chairs right on his clavicle. He goes, this is why electricity killed my mom and dad. It was like, whoa, Johnny. Johnny, you sure aren't a pirate in this one. So yeah, if you're a fan of Back to the Future or 50s themed movies, cry baby. It's also quite hilarious, like I said. And now we turn to a forgotten masterpiece. Everyone says Robert De Niro lost his mojo. I don't think so. I'm, I'm a huge Robert De Niro fan. I've seen pretty much every film he's been in. One of the films that a lot of people forgot he was in, The Intern. A really feel-good movie. It says so on the DVD, experience never gets old. Well, you know what the movie tells us? That very thing, experience never gets old and cool never gets old. Robert De Niro redefined what it meant to be an actor for generations. Well, and you know, it's fun fact, um, since I've got a shirt with Joe Pesci on it, De Niro and Pesci are frequent collaborators. They are. In fact, reportedly in their 1995 film Casino, they were just told to improvise all the scenes they were in together. And whenever I watch De Niro and Pesci improvise together, it makes me laugh. I can't help but laugh in, in amazement because I'm like, wow, these guys are Improvise, improvisational kings, the kings of improv. You know, why can't they be in more films together, you know? So that's it for my haul. I think I, I think for my next film review, it's going to be Johnny Depp's Crybaby. Stay tuned. Thank you all so much for tuning in into this epic haul. Thank you so much for taking time to see what I have in store for everyone and what kind of films I like. So let's see what I will have to say in my review for Crybaby. Actually, quite a bit. <laughs> I've seen this movie at least two times. A third time won't hurt. It's a good film.